Imagine a future where the red dust of Mars settles beneath the boots of the first human settlers in a city named Romulus. This isn't just a figment of science fiction, but a forthcoming reality as we unveil the plans for Mars' first city by the year 2050. In this journey, we will explore how cutting-edge technology, human ingenuity, and a bold vision for the future are converging to create a sustainable human presence on another planet. Join me as we step into a narrative that transcends our earthly bounds, where the challenges are great, but the potential for discovery and growth is even greater. In the harsh and unyielding environment of Mars, our first settlers will not be alone. They will be assisted by a legion of robots, each designed to perform tasks ranging from construction to daily maintenance. These robotic companions will be the backbone of Romulus working tirelessly in conditions that would be perilous for their human counterparts. Imagine hundreds of robots orchestrated by advanced AI, laying the foundation of a city on another world. This synergy between human and machine exemplifies our adaptive spirit and technological prowess. As these robots assist in building habitats, their roles will evolve, becoming integral to the fabric of Martian society. They will not just be tools, but partners in our quest to thrive on Mars. The construction of Romulus will showcase an unprecedented use of 3D printing technology. Here on Mars, hundreds of facilities will rise from the regolith, printed layer by layer from materials harvested on the planet itself. This method not only drastically reduces the need to transport materials from Earth, but also allows for rapid construction and customization of structures. Picture a city where every building is a testament to the possibilities of 3D printing, each uniquely suited to the challenges of Martian living. These buildings will not only provide shelter, but will be vibrant centers of human activity and creativity, designed to sustain life in a world far from home. The adaptability of 3D printing technology makes it a cornerstone in the foundation of a new civilization. Food on Mars presents unique challenges given the planet's barren landscape and harsh climate. To address this, most of the food in Romulus will be genetically engineered to withstand the conditions of Mars. Scientists are designing crops that can thrive in low light and with minimal water, turning inhospitable ground into fertile fields. These crops will not only nourish the settlers but also contribute to the ecosystem by producing oxygen and removing carbon dioxide. Imagine dining halls in Romulus filled with a variety of these robust, nutritious plants, symbolizing a triumph over the barren Martian soil. This approach will be crucial for a self-sustaining settlement, reducing dependency on Earth and paving the way for future Martian agriculture. In the isolated expanse of Mars, traditional power sources are impractical. Thus, renewable energy sources will be vital for the survival and thriving of human life on Mars. Romulus will harness the power of the sun, wind, and even geothermal energy from beneath the Martian surface. Solar panels will carpet vast areas, capturing the weak but precious sunlight, while wind turbines will spin in the thin but adequate Martian atmosphere. This network of renewable energy will power everything from habitats to hydroponics farms, ensuring that life not only survives but thrives. The challenge of energy on Mars pushes us to innovate, leading to advancements that could benefit not just Romulus, but also remote and energy-starved areas back on Earth. As we establish a foothold on Mars, the ambitious plans of terraforming will begin to take shape. Terraforming Mars involves modifying its environment to make it more Earth-like, a process that could take centuries. Initial steps will involve increasing the atmospheric pressure and temperature, potentially through the release of greenhouse gases, or by directing asteroids to impact the surface, releasing heat. These actions, while monumental, represent the first strokes in the grand canvas of planetary engineering. As we reshape Mars, we are also reshaping our understanding of what it means to be a multiplanetary species. The lessons learned here could one day allow us to rejuvenate or terraform other worlds, even as we better understand how to preserve our own. Once Romulus is established, 
The next phase of Martian colonization will involve aggressive expansion plans. This will not be a slow creep across the surface, but a rapid deployment of additional modules, habitats, and support facilities. These expansions will be strategically placed to tap into water ice deposits, mineral resources, and to establish new scientific outposts. Each new sector will grow the capabilities of Romulus, turning it from a lone outpost into a thriving network of interconnected settlements. This bold strategy reflects our innate desire to explore and expand, to push the boundaries of what is known, and to secure a future for humanity across multiple worlds. Mars will soon become a major hub for the burgeoning space mining industry. The planet's rich deposits of minerals and metals will be crucial not only for the construction and maintenance of Martian facilities, but also as exports to Earth and other space settlements. Mining operations will be largely automated, with robots and drones navigating the perilous Martian terrain to extract resources. This industry will not only help sustain the Martian economy, but also reduce the environmental impact of mining on Earth, providing a cleaner alternative to meet our material needs. As we dig into the Martian soil, we're also planting the seeds of a new economic paradigm that spans planets. In this era of interplanetary habitation, maintaining robust communication between Mars and Earth is paramount. A network of orbiting satellites will ensure that no call, message or video from Mars goes unanswered. These satellites will serve as the lifeline, connecting the settlers with their families and colleagues on Earth and transmitting scientific data and operational commands. This constant flow of information will be vital for the safety and well-being of the inhabitants of Romulus, ensuring that Earth's support and expertise are just a transmission away. The technology developed to keep Mars connected could revolutionize how we think about communication in remote areas of our own planet, enhancing connectivity across the globe. Every two years, as Earth and Mars align favorably, fleets of reusable rockets will pierce the sky, carrying new settlers and supplies to Romulus. These rockets, marvels of engineering, will make the journey to Mars more routine, affordable and sustainable. Each launch window opens a door for more adventurers, scientists and visionaries to join the Martian community. This biennial rhythm of travel will weave a tight thread between our worlds, highlighting the regularity and reliability of interplanetary travel. The sight of these rockets, ascending from Earth and descending on Mars, will serve as a beacon of human achievement and ambition. In the quest for Martian settlement, water is more precious than gold. Autonomous robots, equipped with advanced drilling technology, will roam the Martian surface mining for water ice. This ice, once extracted, will be melted, purified and used for drinking, agriculture and as part of the life support systems. The ability to mine and utilize Martian water autonomously will be a cornerstone of sustainable living on Mars reducing the dependency on Earth and ensuring the long-term viability of the settlement. These robotic miners are not just machines, they are the bearers of life, turning frozen resources into a lifeline for human survival on a distant world. As we conclude our journey through the plans and dreams of Romulus 2050, we stand on the brink of a new chapter in human history. This endeavor is more than just a technological feat, it is a testament to the human spirit's unyielding desire to explore and thrive in the cosmos. The challenges are immense, but so are the opportunities for growth, knowledge and connection. Let us move forward with a sense of purpose and wonder as we continue to reach for the stars, not just to visit, but to stay. Thank you for joining me on this extraordinary journey. The future is vast and it belongs to all of us.